It is harder than ever to grow on TikTok, but with the strategies, tactics, tips, and hacks that I'm gonna share with you today, that problem is gonna be a problem of the past for you. Let's dive on in. I'm Rachel Peterson. I'm at the Mrs. Peterson on TikTok, and you can see I have 1.2 million followers on TikTok. Now, if you're anything like me, you have watched lots of experts and gurus talk about how they grow on TikTok by 50,000 overnight. And you're like, that's easy for you to do. You already have millions of followers. But that has not always been the case for me. Last fall, I actually had a manic episode and posted hundreds of TikToks rapidly that basically absolutely destroyed my growth. I went from 1.2 million followers to a million, losing nearly 200,000 followers in the span of a month. Once I had healed and came back, I discovered that I had no momentum on TikTok. It was basically like starting from scratch again. So I dug on in and made it happen. And I'm gonna share with you exactly what I've been doing. And it has helped me to grow by 200,000 followers just this year alone. Now, if you're looking for a beginner's video that shows you things such as how to edit a video or film a video, I'll link to a couple of those in the bio beneath this, but that is not this video. We're gonna dive straight into strategy, tactics, tips, and hacks. Oh, and before I forget, I put together a TikTok starter pack that you can grab totally for free. It is in the bio beneath this video. Go ahead and comment your TikTok handle in the comments below and feel free to connect with other people in the comments and see if there are people whose you know accounts or vibes you jive with. Did I just say jive? Am I officially old? <laughs> Number one, let's talk about frequency. This is a tough love truth moment that I have to share with you. As much as we all would love to think that it's easy to grow posting three to five TikToks a week, the truth is right now, frequency is your best friend. Being able to post three to five videos per day, Monday through Friday, is gonna make a massive difference in how quickly you see growth. Not necessarily in the short term, but in the long term, as each and every one of those videos has a massively long shelf life and continues to pick up momentum for months and even years. Some of my videos that I posted months ago are starting to pick up massive traction and reaching hundreds of thousands of views. So don't be discouraged if they don't perform immediately. Number two, text on screen is a massive opportunity. Basically, you want to have something that grabs people's attention pretty much over your head. Most people are watching TikTok these days with the sound down, whether their partner is sleeping next to them in bed or they're on the train, maybe they are feeding a sleeping baby. They want to know that the video that they're about to watch is gonna be worth the effort and they need to know by being able to see it without hearing what you have to say. We'll talk a little bit more about this later, but there's another huge opportunity and that is adding emojis into the text on screen above your head. I like to use clickbaity emojis such as the mind blown emoji, the <gasps> gasping emoji, the graph scaling up, the graph scaling down, and anything that makes people say, what is this? I need to pay attention. Like I said, more on that in a minute. The single greatest hashtag strategy that I have discovered for growth for smaller creators, meaning less than 100,000 followers, is the three by three strategy. If you want me to do a full video tutorial on the three by three strategy, including examples, comment three by three below. Basically, you use one to three hashtags that describe who it is you wanna serve, one to three hashtags that describe what is actually being explained or shown in the video, and one to three hashtags that explain why that video is important, AKA pain points. Now there's one of two paths that you can take here, and this is regarding jump cuts. Jump cuts are essentially attention resets. They pull people back in. Every couple seconds, you want your video to jump to a different angle. I do this quite a bit. That is the very first strategy, which is to have jump cuts every three to five seconds to really pull people's attention back in, have a different background, etc. It keeps them paying attention. The second strategy is to have no jump cuts with lots of text on screen and the video is a little bit shorter. With the second strategy, no jump cuts with lots of text on screen, in general, you want the video length to be shorter than the time it takes for someone to read all of the text on screen. And what this basically does is it 
essentially guarantees that you're going to be getting two, maybe three, four, five views from one person as they watch it over and over and your retention is going to be fantastic on those videos, pushing it out to more people. Now let's talk about SEO captions. SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this is essentially what someone might be searching for when they are looking for your video. So what I like to do is use basically a tool such as SEMrush, SEMrush, vidIQ, TubeBuddy, or Answer the Public to get inspiration for what it is that people are searching for and what they're really and truly needing, where that search volume is. Um, here are a few examples of what that looks like in my captions, and it's really helped my videos to perform very, very well as people search for the answers inside of the TikTok app. If you want me to do more on SEO captions, go ahead and comment SEO in the comments. Now we get into my favorite strategy, and this is one that I recently developed, I've only shared it once, and this is honing in on the two Vs. The first V is value, the second V is variety. And the truth is you can grow with either one, but you skyrocket when you use both. So value and variety, let's talk about value. Essentially how value is best shared is by having an umbrella topic, and that is your specialty or what you're known for or what you're mostly going to be talking about. This is not the same as niching down. This is what is the majority of my valuable content going to be about. Then from there, you wanna create six to 12 subtopics. Now, an example of that is my umbrella or specialty for my business is organic social media. Some of the subtopics would be TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, lead generation organically. Uh, I go on, right? So you wanna create six to 12 of those subtopics. And then from there, you want to provide value in each and every one of those topics alternating so people always feel like they're getting a little bit of variety even within the value that you're sharing. When creating those value posts, those videos that are packed full of value, something to remember is you wanna follow the format hook value CTA, a really short CTA. Um, the hook is essentially the first three to five seconds. It's what you say, but it's also what is on screen, usually above your head in those videos. It's the thing that pulls people in. It's kind of like an equivalent of a headline in a newspaper. And the truth is, as much as I love value in the CTA, and I will touch on those just lightly, if you spend the majority of your uh, attention focusing on juicier hooks, it makes a whirlwind of difference. For example, take a look at these two videos that I did. Um, the first one has kind of a weaker hook and it's content idea tools that anyone can use, nine free, one paid. And I thought that sounds really, really good, right? But it only got 10,100 views and it has not grown since then because the truth is it's not a super juicy hook. So when we jazz things up and even featured less tools, five social media websites that feel illegal to know and added in clickbaity emojis, boom, this video got 483,000 views and continues to grow each and every week. So focusing more attention on improving your hooks is gonna make a whirlwind of difference. By the way, I do have uh, a pack. It's a bundle that's totally free of juicy viral proven hooks for TikTok. You can use them for IG Reels, YouTube Shorts, all of the above. You can grab that in the bio beneath this video. Now, when it comes to value, I see so many people crafting juicy hooks and that does get them the initial view, but they don't end up getting a lot of saves or interaction because they don't actually share good value. And this is another tough love moment. When you are giving value, you want to actually give a recipe to something, a process, a framework, step-by-step, step, et cetera. You want people to be able to take notes, kind of like how you're probably feeling with this video. You're able to take notes and literally implement each and everything that I'm sharing. If I were to just say, be consistent, record videos, post a lot, you'd be like, none of this is helping Rachel, you suck. And so it's kind of like if I were to be, um, a, a recipe TikToker, uh, and I were to say, these are the best bread buns I've ever made, and all they require is a little bit of flour, a little bit of butter, and some yeast. Everyone would be like, this does not help. You gave us vague ingredients, but we need a step-by-step -step because we don't know how to do it without that. We're not you. 
Similarly, when you're giving value, you want to make sure that you're actually including the recipe. You use this, you use this in this quantity, in this timeline, etc. Boom, go get it so that people can actually get results from whatever it is that you're sharing. Now, when it comes to variety, you want to do stuff that is completely out of your specialty. And this is where people really and truly fall in love with you. For me, and I'll just share these examples in case you've seen them before, it includes like sharing like pictures or videos of my mom bod. It shows my interest in books. Uh, sometimes it's just off the cuff, silly, stupid content that I come up with when I'm laying in bed. It can be trending content. It can be a story that's really interesting or weird or quirky or fun. Uh, it's kind of your opportunity to showcase, hey, I'm not just this one thing, I'm also a person. And that's an absolute game changer and really and truly builds a lot of personality into a personal brand, but businesses can do this as well. And this is a huge mistake I see a lot of business and brand TikToks making. They never share anything outside of their expertise. And that leaves the consumer saying like, why do I wanna follow this person? Why do I wanna follow this brand or business? It feels kind of like, a one trick pony. Here are a few examples of some of the videos I've done that are just silly things I think of at night that make me chuckle and it turns out they've made a few other people chuckle as well. I'm a huge fan of these. Outbound engagement. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, this has been absolutely huge for me. Um, recently, I've actually gotten some outbound engagement comments, meaning commenting on other people's viral content that have gotten five figures worth of likes. And I have a few examples of ones that have gotten smaller likes, but this brings people back to you, whether you're leaving positive or neutral to unsure comments, it's a really powerful thing that um, a lot of people don't realize can build a fantastic network. And it's part of the reason why uh, a lot of celebrities have friended me on TikTok and comment on my content. Cause I just, I leave a lot of positive and encouraging comments on other people's content that I find on the For You page. And I usually do that when I'm walking on a treadmill because what else am I gonna do at that time? It's pretty helpful. I put together a whole bunch of TikTok resources in the bio beneath this video. Comment below and let me know what questions you have about TikTok because I'm gonna be posting a whole bunch more tutorials in the next few days and weeks to come.